Okay, yeah. Um, yes, yes. So it's kind of annoying this uh, Photoshop. You work uh, on your project, and uh, suddenly this uh, this pop-ups, and uh, you see this. Instead of working on your project, you have to face this problem. And what is this problem? Basically, this error message on Mac OS. It doesn't really have a specific meaning related to the error itself. It's more likely just a general indicator pointing to something. So, like, really to scratch. Uh, so, here, like, the scratch disk full error it doesn't have enough uh, free space on designed scratch disk to function properly. And the scratch disk acts, acts as, as a temporary storage for Photoshop when it needs extra space for complex tasks like filters, adjustments, or working with large files. And um, yeah, it's, it's annoying and we're gonna have to fix this issue. Okay, and now to fix this issue, there's actually a couple of methods you can try. So just don't worry guys, because um, there are simple solutions to get you back on track. First, I would use this one here, file, and here in file, we can see uh, file info we have scripts here we also can go to edit here and here we have purge and you can click on all here and let's click on all and this cannot be undone let's click on ok this will purge all the cache files it's a great method to uh, one of the methods potentially this potentially can fix the issue and uh, here make sure you uh, make sure you you save this this because this cannot be undone so you know previous ver projects you worked on make sure all the projects you have are like saved because this is just uh, once like you clean this you can't go back to those previous uh, previous things so what are we gonna do to fix this problem we're gonna have to go to finder and here we have some download and we're gonna have to go and then go to folder go and then Go to folder, <clears throat> and here you're gonna have to write uh, this. Uh, and here, guys, in this uh, search bar here, write type DMP. Click on enter, and here, what we can do here basically, and now here I can highlight everything here and. Click on move to trash. If something doesn't work and uh, you can't delete it, that's because you have Photoshop opened. So make sure you close Photoshop and uh, you, you should see something if you have Photoshop open. So make sure you actually close Photoshop. And here we can also go to trash and click on empty trash. <clears throat> and uh, now we are good to go. We actually deleted this. Now, the, another method is actually to clean the junk file uh, on your system. So, to do this, what I recommend you to use is this one, clean any my Mac. Click on now, try for seven days. And uh, you can try this or you can also go here to App Store and write clean my Here and let's click on install. Okay. It's installing pretty fast, 11 megabytes per second. And now let's click on. Let's click on open. And now I can click on system junk and click on scan and grant access, allow. And now 
let's just wait for this to analyze your system files. Now we can click on clean. You just have to activate your trial and then you'll be able to clean your files. Now another method guys that I think is uh, can be helpful for a lot of you is actually to clean to disable and uh, and uh, well, what you can do here is actually disable auto recovery on Photoshop. Uh, this don't get me wrong, this feature is actually a lifesaver if uh, you have this problem where you actually work on your project and Adobe Photoshop crashes a lot. And this uh, feature is actually when you have this turned on, auto Photoshop will uh, periodically save a copy of your work in progress uh, as a temporary file, and you can accumulate a lot of temporary files on your machine. So disabling this can uh, fix that issue if you don't have the problem of uh, photoshop for me it's not the case so i can disable this photoshop crashing and i don't need the uh, auto recovery so let's go to file actually let's go to settings first general this is located here in the file handling and i'm just gonna uncheck automatically save recovery and it's even like after 10 minutes so yeah it's pretty consistent saving you files which can accumulate a lot of temporary files now another method guys this could work for some of you is if you go to photoshop and then uh, settings in in general you, you can reset preferences on quit so reset all preferences when quitting photoshop and this can uh, be helpful for several reasons so this guys can not only fix uh, glitches errors uh, so because you know photoshop um, will actually start to save cache files and you accumulate just a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of things right cache files and uh, by resetting those this can clear settings and bring um, photoshop back to the clean state so that's what you want so that's why i'm encouraging you to click on reset preferences on quit I'm not gonna do it, I just installed recently Photoshop, but you should do it. And uh, you also should clean up your RAM on, uh, on your Mac. Command plus space, let's write here terminal. And here in the terminal, let's write uh, sudo purge. Now enter your password and click on enter and this cleaned your, your RAM. But if you want, you can also use the app that I showed you before, Clean My Mac, and you can go to maintenance, uh, where is it? Uh, here, optimization, here in optimization, you should, see, you should see maintenance as well, but you just need to buy the full version. But I think it's, it's worth it if you're doing a lot of, uh, you have a lot of apps and this, but I only have a few, that's why. But if you have a lot of apps, you work with a lot of apps that will actually save a lot of temporary files. And you're working with a lot of projects, Adobe projects, uh, this can clear a lot of space. 